Hello everyone, I'm here with the guide for the Mysterious Orb, as well as the locations of all three missing armor pieces, so you can yeah, craft Bundles armor. What? Irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. So, speak to her. Oh, this is after helping Freya um, get free of her curse. Mm. The last boss Freya. you fight before this Here is the Nidhogg or whatever. To look for a so then you come back to Follow Freyr's me. camp, her brothers, well, and then you can start this quest line. So to start this quest, we're yeah, going to be following the main quest up power until power a certain point, and then we can we divert our path enemy. onto the side quest. Kratos, so all this we're doing now is just is basically campaign stuff. Just make sure you grab the side quest first, though. Whatever comes next. Obviously, if you're coming back to finish this quest and you're on a different part of the map, I'll have um, I'll have that in the timeline. In the I'll have the timelines in the description so you just skip around to which armor piece you're missing in case you already have some. But yeah, just feel free to check the description. Either of you, you have my word. So after leaving the camp, this is when Freya officially joins your party, and it just wants you to check your stuff out and customize her a bit. So this coming up is, is this thing. Like, no. You may have ran into some of these so previously. Easy. But uh, yeah, now we can now we can open these places up thanks to Freya joining the Go team. Ahead. Carve the letter. Suna. It's Suna. The elves in Freya's camp mentioned a gate like this in our time. Get on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barrens. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. So here this we need to use her red arrows to connect what to do? and use the chaos plates to ignite them. That'll get rid of the branches or whatever. And There's then after that one there. is it has something more on arrows it. needed, you need to press up on the D-pad to swap to the green arrows. And then shoot the other log and then you can get in the boat and keep going. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now, but he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can so this is where we would need to stop for the main quest desert. right now. But even if you're not doing the main quest yet and you want to do this, you still got to stop there. You need to get off and have her shoot the log and then you can get back on the boat. Because I don't think you can make her shoot it from the boat. Since I was uh, pressing the aim button and nothing happened. So now just hop back in and we are going to first find an armor piece. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, but I just did it from like closest to farthest basically. So first you'll run into an armor piece. Then I think another armor piece. Then the orb and then the final armor piece. So first up is gonna be the belt. And there's just gonna be a few enemies we need to deal with and then yeah, her puzzles really. Not completely. 
Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the shrine. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Astrid's garden. So coming up here is the first piece. Um, I will be skipping the fighting, but a fair warning, just stay out of that smoke or use your axe to freeze the plants, because I did get one-shotted. And this is where it is on the map, so you kind of just follow that river down from the first way gate. But yeah, so I skipped the fighting, but yes, I did get one-shotted by that smoke there on the right. I checked the footage, I'm not really sure, just two big takes of like half my health each almost. But yeah, you just deal with the enemies, stay out of that smoke, and then come open the door. Oh, glad to see that still works. So here's the belt, one of the three pieces for the armor set. So now we're gonna head back to the belt and get to the next piece. If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Uh, perhaps. So now we need to stop here, we can get another armor piece as well as open a doorway to lead to the final piece and the orb. So I skipped the fighting, um, so starting from the boat you're going to come up to the left and climb up here. And then just up here on the left, uh, I would recommend throwing your axe at all these things, otherwise you can just let them blow up on you like I did. But yeah, inside that chest is the next piece. And now we need to do a bit of maneuvering to get a gate open. And it lets us access the remaining uh, two things we need to find, the orb and... Uh, chest piece. Now, how so we, we need to destroy there, these roots. Use the red arrows. Swap with the D-pad. Top up on the D-pad. You can hit as long as your blade hit inside the circle. It'll ignite. You hit the edge of that. Looks like that now climb back down and just get up there. Kick this down to get down faster. Head to the chain. So, what's it like being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Mekin. We should be able to reach the wedding scene. So, after opening that pathway up, we need to head back to the boat. Go through it, obviously. And we're going to get our last two pieces in there.
we're pretty close together and then we're just gonna head back to the blacksmith afterwards The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. Gonna want to make a more left happiness. turn coming up here once this uh, goddess Foolish falls pops up. Peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed. All the same. Now, inside the Velt Passage, this is where the mysterious orb is. The mysterious orb will be on the left of you once you dock right here. Just this ball on the ground. Lunda's orb. Be cautious. We know not what it does. You really think she'd send us to get the bloody thing if it was going to kill us? Let's just take it back to her. So, after grabbing the orb, we are on to our last piece. It is actually just right down here. We just dock we'll here, go in that little We're red room in the back, and the chest piece is in the chest. And then the blacksmiths are also just like kind of right around the corner, so we're almost done. That's all Lunda's armor taken care of, as well as her odd little sphere. Should we return them to her? Say their markings. We should be careful. Something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Thor whispered to you? Who? Thor, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, so yes. after a bit of a zigzag One back the to the blacksmiths, we will be able to craft the armor. So just interact with the sense. blue, uh, like pressing triangle. Enough. We will continue later. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elsa's been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite toy. What? Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Oh, I uh, actually, mm. any dwarf can. I just didn't think you'd get my orb for me if you knew that. Sorry, y'all. Good thing you are so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mimir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. <laughs> now, not as for the brother. armor itself, okay. it is a okay. level 5 armor, which was a nice upgrade for my level 3. So what it does is barehanded attacks, parrying, and blocking have a high luck Damn. chance to Am poison the enemy, lowering Very their good. power level, so... Not only did this give me the level 5, I guess it'll make them lower level, which is nice. So, so, so again, that. that poisons them, and then the wrist and waist armor increases melee damage against poisoned enemies so by up to 40%, 20% per piece. So I guess it's a nice melee build. You can Wait, punch them around like a bit. It also, block, also blocks and parries uh, trigger to poison. So yeah, you can... Put your weapons on your back if you want, just start punching them up and then that debuffs them. Lowering their level, giving you a 40% damage increase. So I think it's pretty good armor. Uh, I'll be using it till I find another one. But yeah, it's a nice red. Anyways, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.